This is the question of uh, 2011, May, June, paper 2-3 and the question number is 6A. It shows that a transverse progressive wave travels along a stretched string from left to right, so left to right. The shape of part of the string at a particular instant is as shown in the figure, which we have here. The frequency of the wave is 15 Hz, as shown here. So F is equal to 15 Hz. So for this wave, uh, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the amplitude. So as is shown by the graph here, this is 8 mm, this is 6 mm. So uh, it is one division less here. So that it should be, it is 7 here. It should be 7. Uh, so 7 uh, 7.2, 7.4, 7.6. So it should be equal to 7.6 mm. The phase difference between the points P and Q. So point P is at the uh, crest and Q is at the draw. So that's why the phase difference should be equal to either 180 degree or it should be equal to pi radians. And then the speed of the wave. So here we have a lambda is equal to from here to here it is 80 centimeter. Lambda equal to 80 centimeter which is equal to 0 0.80 meters frequency already given here so we should have since frequency is equal to velocity by lambda we have v should be equal to f into lambda equal to 15 into 0 0.80 which is equal to 12 meter per second so it's equal to 12 meter per second now <coughs> next question it is asked the period of vibration of the wave is t time period is t the wave moves forward from the position shown in like this for a time 0.525 t 0.25 t so we have to sketch the new position of the wave new position of the wave so so what we have to do here is since it is moving forward moving forward means it is traveling more and more distances like this like this so that's why uh, at a 0 0.25 t it will be like this so in uh, uh, one uh, one time period in one time period this thing will move forward to this in a half time period it will be moved forward from here to here because here it is uh, uh, we have got uh, 5 10 11, 15 20 40 divisions so in half period it will be going like this it is 20 divisions and in a 0 0.25 time period it will be traveling this distance so that's why the new position of the wave would be so this crest will be here crest will be here this point will be middle point will be here the trough will be trough will be somewhere here uh, trough will be here and again we have uh, this midpoint will be uh, midpoint will be somewhere here Again, this row will be somewhere here, and this uh, midpoint will be somewhere here, and here the lowest point will be somewhere here. So the so the wave will be somewhat like this. So from here it comes like this, like this. It comes like uh, this. It comes like this. Then it comes like this, like this, like this. And from here it comes like this so this will be the nature of the wave now <coughs> now in the second page what we have here is in the second page second page let me fix the position first here so this is the second page second page here So uh, another uh, stationary wave, uh, another stretched string is used to form stationary wave, part of a wave shown like this. So we have to find the phase difference between the part X and Y. So in a stationary wave, what happens is, uh, the, all the points of this region will be in the same phase because they will be performing same type of, type of motion each time. If X is at its, at its topmost position, Y also will be at its topmost position. If this is at the top, x also will be at its top and y also at the top. When x reaches here, y reaches here. This also reaches here. So these two points should be in the same phase. So phase difference should be equal to 0. So uh, 
now now we have to explain these things explain the following terms used to describe stationary waves on a string anti nodes are the points so points with points with points with highest highest displacement highest displacement displacement and node means points with zero displacement displacement so in this wave for the wave in uh, figure 6.2 we have to find the number of anti nodes so when <coughs> when this wave uh, go, keeps on vibrating it will be going like this like this like this like this like this so that means here we have anti node here anti node and here anti node so the number of anti nodes is equal to 3 now the period of vibration of this wave is tau certain so time t here uh, similar to the previous time so we have to sketch the stationary wave 0.25 t after the instance shown there so that means in a time period t the particles here will move from here and then here at that time the particles here will move from here reach here and here and they'll move from here to here and here so in time t it will move from here and then here that means in 0. 0 0.50 t it will move from here to here so in t time full movement in half t it should be from here to here that means in quarter t as given here the particle here will reach here and the particle here reach here and here it will reach here so that means at that time the position of the wave will be somewhat a straight line so from here like this like this straight line again from here straight line straight line and again from here straight line so at a 0 0.25 t the status of the wave or particles will be somewhat like this they will be aligned along a perfect straight line